hello so i'm going to be showing you today how to make a healthy chili it is cold and rainy and kind of gray and gloomy where i am so chili is always a nice comforting warming meal super easy to make and can be very healthy for you so i'm going to cook it in my instant pot but i'm going to be using the slow cooker function so you can do this in a slow cooker you can do this on the stove i will alter the instructions so that you can use this video to use those items to cook your chili so first we're going to start with putting some olive oil in the instant pot about a tablespoon and then I'm going to add some garlic. You can use fresh garlic. You just want it to be minced. We like a lot of garlic, so I add a bit of garlic. And then for my chili, I always use ground turkey because I really like that flavor. You could also use beef. Or if you're vegetarian, you can omit all the meat and make a veggie chili. So if you are making a vegetarian chili, I will show you when you should start. Obviously you're not gonna be cooking meat, so we're going to saute. I'm going to let the garlic cook a little bit and then I'll be adding the meat. Spreading the garlic around a little so that it cooks more evenly. While you're waiting for the garlic to heat up, I've pre-cut my veggies. I have mushrooms, celery, and carrots. I will also be using some cauliflower rice, but that's pre-made. So I went ahead and chopped these up so that they'll be ready to use. So the garlic is getting fragrant. I'm going to add my meat and I'm going to brown it. I'll come back when it's browned. Okay, so the ground turkey is cooked and it's okay if it's not fully cooked because we're slow cooking it, it's going to cook for a while. It will eventually all be cooked before you eat it. So now I'm going to add those veggies that I cut up earlier. Again, it's mushrooms, carrots, and celery. The great thing about chili is that you can add whatever vegetables you have on hand. If you wanna add corn, onion, green beans even, just go for it. All right, so I'm gonna give it a little stir. And then I'm going to add some liquid ingredients. So I'm going to add some water, a little less than a cup. And I'm going to add beef bouillon. So you could add beef broth. Again, if you're making it vegetarian, you would start here and you could just add vegetable broth instead or vegetable bouillon. So it's about a teaspoon for one cup, I'm sorry, one tablespoon per one cup of water. So I'm just going to add a tablespoon, give it a little stir. The mushrooms are going to cook down and add some more water. So I don't want to add too much water right now. I can always add more later. Then I'm going to add some green chilies. We like it spicy. You don't have to add these if you don't want. 
going to add some hot sauce. Again, we like it spicy. If you don't, just omit this. And I'm going to add some taco seasoning mix. If you don't have taco seasoning mix, you can just use some garlic, cumin, chili pepper, onion, salt and pepper, some paprika, and a little bit of oregano. So I'm just going to add, eyeball it, but it's probably about a tablespoon or two. Again, if I need more later, I can add it. Then I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to add in some tomato sauce, some marinara, about half the jar. I can always add more in later if I need it. Give it a stir. If you're doing this on the pot, it would be on medium heat right now. And if you're on the slow cooker, it would just be off right now. So I'm just incorporating it all together. All right, then I'm going to add, I have some of this umami seasoning blend, which gives it just a little bit of a mushroom flavor. I'm going to add a little bit more garlic powder and it's all to taste. If you don't like any of this, just don't add it. A little more onion powder. Some pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of oregano. And then again, we like it spicy, so I add a little bit more red pepper flakes. I also like to add some black beans, or you can add black soybeans for a lower carb count, or if you're watching your sugar. And I'm just going to, again, stir it all together. It looks really hearty and delicious. So then I also like to add a little bit of tomato paste, about a, I'd say that was a tablespoon. And again, stir. The mushrooms are gonna cook down, the veggies are gonna cook down. It's gonna put a little bit more liquid into this when it's cooking. So I think this is plenty of liquids right now. So that is it for ingredients. So now we're just going to, if you are on the Instant Pot, we're going to hit cancel and slow cook. Um, for the Instant Pot, it's not the best slow cooker, so you always wanna make sure it's on more, which is the high setting. And you also wanna make sure that your lid is sent, set to venting. We're not trying to create any pressure, so you wanna make sure the, the lid, the vent over here is open if you're using an Instant Pot. If you're using the slow cooker, 
You could do low for three hours or high for six. Um, again, it's pretty much all cooked except for the veggies. So you don't need to cook it for that long. I just find it tastes better the longer you let it cook. If you're using a pot, you're going to turn it up to boiling and then lower it when it starts to boil to a simmer. And you're gonna let it simmer for a little till everything is mixed very well. Then you're gonna put a lid on it and lower the heat to low and just let it cook and stir occasionally. So I'm going to pause the video now and we'll come back in a little when it's cooked a little more. So it's cooked for a little bit and as you can see, <laughs> don't mind that. As you can see, it is a little liquidy. So what I'm going to do is just let it saute and simmer to cook down the liquid a little bit. It's probably fine like this but I like it just a little with a little bit less liquid, a little bit more heartier. But that's about it. When you serve it, you can put just a little bit of cheese on top or a little sour cream. You can add some avocados, sliced avocados on top. But the using the turkey instead of the beef makes it less fattening and a little healthier. It's chock full of vegetables and you know exactly what is in it. So you know there are no hidden sugars and there are no hidden foods that you might be allergic to or anything like that. You made it yourself and it's going to be delicious. And especially if you let it slow cook and simmer, you're going to be smelling it throughout the house and you won't be able to wait to eat it. So I hope you enjoy making your chili and eating it on a cold and dreary day or just eating it whenever because it's del delicious, delicious to eat at any time. Thank you.